Hey, what is going on guys? It's Carlos and it's time to install ADB and Fastboot on your Mac computer if you haven't already. Now this is mostly a must for those Android users who are always flashing and installing ROMs or custom recoveries. It's always better to use the manual way of ADB and Fastboot to flash radios, update recoveries, unlock bootloaders, or root your phone. It just makes you feel like a hacker and you can impress people while doing it. I personally enjoy using ADB instead of using toolkits, I just like doing things manually. Now this tutorial is for the Mac computers and a PC tutorial will follow up real shortly and if it's been uploaded just click on the annotation in this video somewhere saying PC ADB guide or something, I'll, I don't know what I'll name it, just look for it. Alright so now let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is go over to developer.android.com forward slash SDK and download the SDK bundle. And this can take a while depending on your internet connection so just sit back, relax and go grab a coffee and come back when it's done downloading. So after you're done downloading the SDK, make sure to extract it by just double clicking on it and a new folder will show up called ADT Bundle Mac. So the next step is to create a folder and we're going to call it Android and put it on the desktop. I head back to the ADT bundle Mac folder and inside there will be another folder called SDK so open that one up as well and then head over to the platform tools folder and we're going to copy everything inside that folder and paste it on the Android folder that you created on the desktop. Now it's time to test out ADB and see if it works. So on your Android device, make sure that USB debugging is checked on. If not, head over to the settings, then developer tools and tick on USB debugging and then plug your device into your Mac computer. Next up, open up a terminal and type CD, then hit space and then drag that Android folder from the desktop into the terminal and hit enter. Once that is done, type period forward slash ADB devices and hit enter. Now your device serial number should show up and if it did, well success, we finished installing ADB on your Mac computer. If not, try repeating these steps again, maybe something went wrong during the process. Hopefully not though. But now, it can get quite annoying to have to type CD into the terminal and drag that Android folder every time that you're going to use ADB. So let's get rid of that small little annoying problem. Now if you don't want to have your Android folder on the desktop, move it somewhere else and then proceed with this step. For this video, I'll just keep it on the desktop to show you guys. Now open up a new terminal and type nano uh, that squeakily sign forward slash dot bash underscore profile and hit enter. Then a new window will pop up and, and here you want to type this line of code called expert path equals minus signs those curvy parentheses lines I guess that's what you call them path and then those two little dots I, I just can't remember what they're called. But all these lines of commands will be down in the video description so you guys can copy and paste them. Now just drag that Android folder into that terminal and afterwards just hit Ctrl and X to exit. Then it will ask you to confirm so hit Y for yes and then hit enter again to exit. Now we have to test ADB once again to see if it works. I know, I know, there's so many steps to just installing ADB. So one last time, open up a new terminal again and this time type ADB devices and ADB should start and you should see your Android device serial number. I know, success, we finally finished installing ADB and Fastboot on your Mac computer. Now you don't have to be dragging the Android folder all the time inside that terminal. So yeah guys, this was just my long overdue tutorial of installing ADB on the Mac computer and I couldn't have done this without Ashton TS who posted this guide in the XDA forums. So there will be links down in the description so you guys can go ahead and check out that written tutorial as well. And if you have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments down below and check the video description if you want to see those commands that were used in this video. So yeah guys this was pretty much it so smack that like button and subscribe for more videos and check out that written tutorial from Ashton TS over at the XDM forums and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.